Okay. In this tutorial, I am going to explain how to use get metadata component in the Azure Data Factory platform. So, first of all, we will see what is Azure uh, get data, get metadata component. Basically, uh, if you are pointing to any data set to the uh, get metadata component, from that you can get metadata from that data set. So, for example, if you uh, input uh, Excel data sets, then uh, it will return Excel uh, si uh, file size, storage, and last cre created date, updated dates, columns, and other information. So, if you point uh, uh, SQL table as the data set for the get metadata component, then it will return the columns uh, of the table and structure and other information. So, that is the basic uh, descriptions about the get metadata. Now we will uh, go to the data factory environment and we will see how to uh, get that information. So first of all, I will go to the author section and I will create a fresh uh, pipeline. So click on that three dots and create a new pipeline. And I will give a uh, pipeline name as, name as uh, get meta data and enter. It. So after that, under general sections, we can get that get metadata component. So I will drag and drop this uh, get metadata component. Then under settings, you have to give the data set. So initially, I will give the uh, Excel data set which I have shared in the Azure Blob Storage. So I will select that relevant uh, Excel data set. Then you can see. Uh, the field list. So by click on this new button, you can add that field list. So click on that, then you can view uh, the column count. And additionally, I can view uh, exist. And uh, there are additional columns like exist item name. And we can view item type. And last modified date and file size and the structure that informations we can give for this get uh, metadata component so now you can click on this uh, debug button and get that output so you can see that pipeline is debugging so it still is in progress you can see status is succeed so if you go to that output then it will show all the information exit exist is true the item name the sales and the excel file name and the item type is a file class modified date size it's a uh, size the structure there are uh, all together i think there are uh, 21 columns the column count is 21 that column uh, names and the data type that information is available if you are connecting to the uh, Excel data set. Now uh, I will show you uh, this uh, in a different example by connecting uh, SQL server table. So again uh, you can go to that get metadata component and uh, you can uh, change the file uh, the data set name. So uh, now I am going to connect to the Azure SQL Server table. Okay, now you can see by default it will display column count, exist, and structure. So if you are connected to the Excel file, it will give more information, but by default we will have only these three components. So by uh, including those things, you can get the metadata. So if you want, you can publish your uh, apply and it will apply the cloud environment. Then after that, you can debug your metadata component. So publishing completed. So uh, click on the debug button. You can see uh, debug is in progress. So if I refresh this button, then go to the output menu. Then you can see exist is true, structure, logical name ID, logical type, and you can see uh, the structure is there. Then you can see a uh, lot of information relevant to that table. 
So I think uh, you have a clear understanding about the get data meta uh, get metadata component of the uh, Azure Data Factory platform. So if you have any questions, you can put on the comment section, so or you can uh, include any other uh, issues with that. Please uh, mention in the uh, comment section. Thank you.